Hi, I am sitting on my brand new Nature's Head composting toilet, which I just installed today. And in this video, I am going to show you how I installed it in my RV. So the first thing I did was obviously to remove the old toilet. Uh, it was pretty easy. There were just two screws on either side of the toilet, um, just like in a standard brick and mortar toilet. Um, and uh, remove the, the supply to the water, uh, which you can see right here, what I did was just cap off the water. I left an elbow uh, on there so that the hose wouldn't slip down through the hole. Uh, that way, if I ever want to um, change back to the, a standard type toilet again, I can do that in the future. Uh, the flange, uh, here you can see I went to Home Depot and got this little white cap. Uh, fits nicely, perfectly right right into the hole to seal off the pipe. Um, about three days ago, we filled the black water tank up uh, with fresh water and uh, some uh, enzyme additives so that uh, we could get a good clean flush on the tank as well. Um, and then I cut this board again, went to Home Depot, and it's uh, finished. Actually, they're just... Um, planks for shelving that Home Depot sells. Uh, rather than buy a piece of wood and stain it myself, I just decided to uh, use a couple of these and I cut a hole for the flange. Um, the new toilet will sit on top of these, this piece of wood and uh, that way it covers up the flange. And all of this I'm doing to keep in mind for you know switching back to a regular toilet. So. Um, I'm not doing anything that is uh, uh, degrading the structure or uh, you know making it difficult for myself or the next person who may own this to switch back to a regular toilet. The actual mounting of the toilet is really easy. Um, it comes with these two L brackets and uh, these two black knobs. So you just position the toilet in here and screw the L brackets in and then uh, these knobs screw into the side. Uh, the toilet needs to be able to be removed um, because that's how you dump the compost bin part of the toilet, the bottom part of the toilet. So the toilet is mounted and now I need to connect. Um, there's a 12 volt um, connection for a small fan that, that um, normally comes from the other side of the toilet um, but uh, it's it's movable so I moved it to this side of the toilet because this is where I'm choosing to vent the fan and what I did was I um, actually poked a little hole it's kind of hard to see here but I poked a little hole in the side of the flexible tubing that comes with the toilet and I'm running my 12 volt power supply through that tubing. Um, the reason for this is that I have chosen to connect that to PVC pipe and run that along the floor and up to the ceiling and across over to my 12 volt fan in my bathroom. And I did this for a couple of reasons is number one is I have a 12 volt power supply already there for the bathroom fan. And um, I thought since I needed to run power there, I'd go ahead and run the vent there, the vent tube there as well. And then with the fan on, um, it'll give it a little extra venting power, uh, I think from the, from the toilet fan and the, and the bathroom fan being on. And again, I, I did this because I didn't want to um, punch a hole in the wall or in the ceiling uh, to uh, compromise the integrity of the RV in case I want to go back to a regular toilet or if the next owner of this motorhome wants to go back to a regular toilet. Um, they do sell lots of adapters. You can just punch a hole in the wall or go straight up through the ceiling. Um, if that's something you want to do, that's uh, that would be up to you. Here's another angle of the tubing we've chosen to use goes up along the door and then to the fan. So the toilet is mounted. Um, here's what it looks like uh, without the toilet seat on it. Uh, so this is the composting area. Uh, this is where number two goes. And in the front, 
there is a removable um, container that uh, this is where number one goes. And I'll show you how that works out when we get the toilet seat on. Um, we're just getting ready to put our composting material inside the container. And so um, I have to be honest, my wife was the one that did all the research for this. So she um, knows a lot about it and I'm gonna cut to her now so she can explain the composting medium that we're using. The composting medium that is recommended uh, by Nature's Head is peat moss. Um, and cocoa core is something that can be used as an alternative and we've decided to go with cocoa core. This is a 2.75 pound brick that we got off of Amazon and it's actually really like solid. So what I did was um, crumble it up using a flathead screwdriver and I put it in Ziploc baggies, in one gallon Ziploc baggies. I filled it about this full with the crumble and added one cup of water and it's expanded this much just by one cup of water. So we're gonna see how this goes. A gallon and a half of the pre-moistened cocoa core, the composting material. And you can see how when you turn it, it gets all mixed up. Now there are still some cocoa core chunks in here, which are really dense. Um, when those get moist, they're gonna expand quite a bit. Um, and what I read is that they're gonna expand maybe 10 times their size. So I'm not filling it quite as full as recommended by Nature Head. So there are two styles of crank handles that come uh, with this particular brand of toilet. We went with the, what's called the spider handle. It's got um, several, uh, three little knobs that you can turn here, which turn the crank to mix the composting material with the number two. Uh, the other handle is a, is a crank handle. Um, it requires a little more space. Um, we don't have a lot of space, so we went with uh, this particular version handle, uh, both at the same price from Nature's Head. So the next step is to attach the uh, toilet seat, the top part. Um, there are two latches here on the sides um, that make it really easy. And you see there's a hinge back here the hinge, um, there's not enough space in here for me to actually show you how it goes, but basically uh, the hinge side on the toilet seat slides onto this from the side and then it tilts down and then latches on the, the two handles on the side. So with the lid attached, the top portion, um, the next thing is I just need to attach the vent hose to the side vent on the toilet and plug in the power supply for the fan. So when you go to use the toilet, there are two compartments here. Um, there's this front compartment here uh, with two holes in it, and this is where number one goes. So if you're only going number one, um, you sit down on the toilet, and that's both for men and women. Um, this is a sit down operation only. Um, you sit down and do your thing and the the number one flows into the uh, portable container. Uh, if you have to go number two, uh, you simply move this lever here and that opens the compartment down to the composting area of the toilet. After you're done going number two, uh, you close the compartment with this handle here lower the lid and use the crank on the side to mix the compost with the number two and that is it and then to dump the compost um, you undo the latches on the sides and remove the top part of the toilet um, there's two things that can be dumped the liquid waste storage here pulled out and that can be dumped separately. That can be dumped anytime. Uh, you'll dump that um, more often than you'll dump the composting base. Um, depending on how much you use it, how much your home, uh, the compost portion uh, can be dumped, you know, for two people, anywhere from two weeks to a couple of months, depending on how much time you spend at home and how much you use the toilet. Uh, to dump the compost base, uh, remove the top portion and unscrew the knobs on the sides that hold the toilet in place and you remove the entire base 
and put a garbage bag over the top of it and tip it upside down and shake out all the composted material. That can be disposed of either in a garbage can or if you uh, want to uh, complete the composting process, uh, it takes about a year to fully compost human waste and then that can be used on non-edible plants and gardens. There are um, other accessories you can purchase uh, from Nature's Head, uh, different uh, attachments for venting, uh, different attachments for connecting to um, regular 110 power uh, rather than using 12 volt like I did. Um, the, you can purchase a second base which will allow you to uh, it comes with a vented lid and that'll allow you to actually continue the composting process in a base um, uh, before you dump it, uh, if you like. Uh, you can also purchase extra um, liquid containers uh, so that you have more of those if that uh, is something that's necessary for you. And all that can be uh, located on Nature's Wet, uh, Head website. So one thing I forgot to mention um, was toilet paper, which is very important. Um, you can use regular toilet paper and it just goes right into the composting compartment, um, just like in a normal toilet. Um, it is recommended to use RV style toilet paper because it breaks down faster, but you don't have to. Um, and you don't wanna put anything else in there except for the composting material, toilet paper, and your number two. Um, everything else needs to be disposed of um, in another way. Uh, I want to mention about the cocoa core. One of the reasons we went with the cocoa core instead of the peat moss is, uh, for one, it's condensed, like my wife mentioned. Um, the, the other reason we went for it is that it's very renewable. It's a renewable wheat resource where peat moss um, actually it takes a, years and years and years to develop peat moss to use, so it's not a renewable resource. Um, so we're going with the cocoa core to, to uh, be more sustainable and um, we're saving lots of water by doing this and um, you know it's going to make our off-grid uh, experience just a lot, a lot better um, not having to uh, use a portable tank to uh, transport our black water to a dump station. Well hopefully you've enjoyed this very amateur video that we've made. Uh, we've never done this before so um, if you have any questions, um, just go online and search Nature's Head uh, Toilet. Yeah, you can find their website. There's a lot of great information there as well as reviews out on the, on the internet. Um, good luck and um, talk to you later.